Alright, welcome to That'll Do Farm. I'm going to be saying some of the spring projects coming up for the farm. And, um, most of them will have videos attached with them. So, with the ducks, we'll start with the ducks. The ducks, these are all ducks from last year's ducklings. So these were all ducklings last year. Should be perfect age to start breeding now. And, uh... I've ordered white scovies in the mail, so um, ducklings, that's the only way I could find them. So you'll be seeing some videos on the white muscovies coming up. And these guys should be able to have a whole bunch of babies, too. I've got a new duck pool over there. Um, we're redoing the barn door, so that's just a sliding door. But that duck pool is deeper and stronger. So that's for the, that's what we got for the ducks. All right, the rabbits. With the rabbits, we have a new buck, a very good buck, black buck, a new red buck, and a new red doe. And she has a litter. I will show you guys this later in probably a different video, but they're in there um, about almost two weeks. She's pregnant, she's pregnant, she's pregnant, she's soon to be pregnant, she's pregnant. So, we have pretty much all, a whole bunch of rabbit babies coming. Hopefully I can get to some shows and so, show some rabbits for my first time. Because I got, I got some pretty good pedigrees too, attached to these rabbits. I'm going to be making another rabbit tractor videos on that on the rabbit tractor I already have one I already have two rabbit tractors so because those were good last year for the meat rabbits and then I'm going to be trying a colony outdoor colony for rabbits uh, pretty good size area not huge or anything but pretty good so hopefully get a couple not these main rabbits but I'm just going to try it with a couple kits like fresh kits and then once they grow up I'll throw them out there and uh, so hopefully they get out there by spring or beginning of summer so I'll be making some videos on them too in the colony so that's what we got for the rats all right for meat birds we'll be having plenty of meat birds this year we've got the tractors just stored right now and uh here's the rabbit tractors so you'll be seeing them come in as chicks and get raised up in these moving along the yard for a healthier lifestyle the cows here's the two cows we got in the last spring getting pretty big and we will be getting two more very soon, probably this weekend. But there's no guarantees or nothing. But just to make sure we always have a steady meat supply. So right now they're in this smaller area. And all that back there. Trying to get to grow with some good grasses and stuff. So they can eat good healthy grasses back there. We're also getting, not this, but pigs. Probably getting pigs. It's not like 100% guarantee or nothing. Um, probably four pigs. Four or three, maybe two, I don't know. But we're going to try to raise them back there and get them for meat. So, it'll be exciting too. We had pigs before, but not at our own house. So this year they'll be here. Um, right now, a little dirty, but the garden, we be having the garden. <laughs> we also have six more egg-laying chickens, and we'll be butchering out, butchering out some of these ones, because they're getting older now. The barred rocks are still good, the eyes are probably going to go, there's our rooster. So, we'll be getting them. 
Um, we're getting close to total, close to 300 pheasants. I don't know the exact number. So that's going to be big. Um, we got a guy that we sell him to for releasing on his property to get the population of the pheasants up. So that's for the chicken. I'll be having these mushrooms pop up coming soon. I've already had some shiitakes in the middle of winter, actually. Um, we got lion's mane hopefully coming. I don't know if they have to look again what comes up in spring. Oyster, they should come up in spring. Shiitake should come up in spring. Namiko, I think they're fall. I'm not sure. I'm just going to keep looking. Right now, this is what I saw. A little baby shiitake coming up. And I will be... Oh, yeah. <laughs> to jump down. I will be uh, planting more mushrooms. Probably hen in the woods and chicken in the woods. That's what I was thinking. For uh, in more logs this spring. Probably soon. Probably should be cutting logs. So hopefully we get some sweet mushrooms. I'll be hunting mushrooms too. And another thing is the worms. So, um, my plan is to, oh, sorry, the furnace or something went on. But, these worms are doing really good. They got really nice soil. Look at that. That was, I haven't put soil in here in over a year. Like, compost in over a year. So this was just from plants and, or paper, leaves, all kinds of stuff. Food, any food. So I've got three bins going now. One, two, three. And the plan is to take this big fuel tank, get that upstairs, cut it in half, then put it at an angle so the liquid drains down, and put three slots in it so the worms will move left to right set up up and down so I'll explain that more once I get to that point so hopefully that can happen this summer but uh, uh, we gotta get the little baby plants started too so all, uh, all we also got we're gonna be building a new processing center really big and everything so all, not, I'm not sure that all these plans will be done by the summer, but hopefully they will. Most of them should be, and there will be plenty more plans than that. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks.